using uh, R for um, for the band Altman's is actually probably easier than using SPSS. However, there are a number of things that we need to do first, which is install the, the package simply agree. So we write the the command line sim, uh, install package simply agree. I will this will throw an error because it's already um, already actually uh, installed and running. So yeah, it's thrown an error. But normally you just select the, the correct library and then um, it would then bring it in. You then need to use library to um, to actually make sure that it's working. Um, mine is already uh, already working, so I, I don't need to do it again. And it may throw me an error again. Um, no, it hasn't. That's fine. Um, and then you create um, a a variable with your data in it. So in this case, we'll create PD. So we need to uh, have the file project data in the the um, the documents file within your C drive and where the um, the computer can find it and then you do um, PD so you, know, you read in the data into PD um, and then attach PD it's throwing me an error because I'd already done that um, then you use agree test um, for uh, manual and semi-manual agree tests for manual and semi-manual and then all you have to do is actually plot the actual result so you can just do plot the PD uh, agree variable and it will give you the blend Altman uh, form the blend Altman uh, graph the last thing you want to do is is read that out you also will want the um, the the results from the blend Altman, uh, the results from the agreement test. So PD dot uh, AGR will give you the, um, the the results, and that will give you the limit of agreement at at ninety five percent confidence. The Sherry test um, and uh, exact confidences, and the band Altman limits as well. Limits of uh, concordance uh, of uh, of limits. Uh, sorry, the concordance uh, correlation coefficient is also available, um, which is very low for this data, uh, and the bias is also explicitly uh, determined by this work. So you have all the data. If you want to create the SVG file and then bring it into um, another uh, file so that you can. Um, tweak it that's fine as well um, and to do that you would um, create it in the same way as this and that creates the file that you can then look at and uh, invert and use.